It often comes as a surprise to those first-time visitors to Buckinghamshire in south-east England that within the village of Chalfont St Giles is a museum and literary landmark of truly national importance, Milton's Cottage. This was the little cottage in which, in 1665, John Milton, together with his family, sought refuge from the Great Plague which at that time was sweeping the city of London. And it was the place where, in the months that followed, Milton completed his famous epic poem, Paradise Lost, and was inspired to start writing its sequel, Paradise Regained. It was these late and great works, composed after he had gone blind, that ensured Milton's lasting poetic legacy, and the universal recognition that he now has as one of the world's greatest writers. The cottage was rescued from being dismantled thanks to an appeal launched in 1887 to secure its purchase for the nation, the first contributor being none other than Queen Victoria herself. It is now a museum open to the public and it also holds a library containing one of the world's most important collections of Milton first editions. It is a grade one listed building and it is looked after day to day as is its lovely little cottage garden by the Milton's Cottage trustees whose job it is to protect, preserve and maintain this very special place for the benefit of us, the public. There was only one thing wrong with that appeal campaign of 1887 which secured the purchase of the cottage. It did not raise any money at all for even a modest endowment fund for the cottage's continued maintenance and upkeep, which has been a monumental challenge over the years. So that is why we have instigated a new campaign, the Paradise Maintained Endowment Fund. The target is to raise, over a three or four year period, initially one and a half million pounds, a sum which would be sufficient when invested to provide for the majority of the basic operating costs of the Trust. Why is this fund so important? If you go to Milton's cottage, you are not just visiting a place where Milton lived. You are, in a real sense, entering his world the world that he inhabited during those torrid and fraught years in the middle of the 17th century. Because Milton was not only one of our greatest poets, he also played a central role in the development of political thought following the execution of King Charles I during the Cromwellian Protectorate. Milton's writings on liberty, free speech, religious toleration and republican ideals made him a deeply controversial figure. And it was only by the skin of his teeth that at the restoration of King Charles II, he escaped execution. But much more than all of that, those political writings of Milton went on to influence directly, for example, the French Revolution, the American Declaration of Independence, the American Constitution, and in our own times, the 20th century civil rights movement. Milton also coined more new words in the English language even than Shakespeare. So it's true to say, whether we know it or not, that Milton has embedded himself into our collective consciousness on a number of levels. Many people think it is no accident that Chalfont St Giles was the place that Milton's friends found for him to escape to a location known for having in its midst a number of Republican sympathisers. All that is why Milton's little retreat in Chalfont St Giles is a great deal more important as a literary landmark than some other houses associated with English literary figures. In the first two years, we have raised £320,000, thanks not only to generous local donors, but also to the fantastic boon of match funding and gift aid, which results in a more than double up 
on money that is donated. And this is where I would ask for your support. I hope that what you have seen and heard, even in this short video, will have inspired you to join us in building the Paradise Maintained Endowment Fund. This unique place in the heart of England is, I believe, somewhere which all of us, wherever we live, should feel privileged to treasure and to look after. A part of our heritage that we should collectively help to preserve. So please, will you help us, in whatever way you can, to make the Endowment Fund fulfil its vital purpose. Your donations will mean that the only surviving house that Milton called his home will continue to be appreciated and enjoyed, not only by us today, but by generations to come. Thank you.